All right, guys, we're gonna make the absolute best fiber product together because apparently 90 to 95% of us aren't getting enough fiber into our diets. Uh, don't mind the mess. I'm like a mad scientist in here right now, kind of just mixing a bunch of different fibers. Let me zero in the scale before we start. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, um, apparently I was reading a study the other day, uh, 90 to 95% of us aren't getting enough dietary fiber. And that isn't our fault. It is the fault of the industrialization of food, how our food is being processed. And it's really just not good for us. We need fiber. It's a, it's actually considered like a macronutrient in our diet. It's just not, we just don't eat it. By the way, for those nerdy scientists people out there, right now I'm working with uh, galacto oligosaccharide here. And then I got, also got, I, um, I got some isomalto oligosaccharide. And then the last one is resistant dextrin. My point is here is that I'm trying to mix different, combine different sources of fiber into one because there are some fibers out there like Metamucil uh, that just use like psyllium husk. And I'm not gonna really get into it because it really just makes me mad, but it's just not good enough. And there's three main things that I'm trying to go for here. The first thing is that I want it to mix into water, any liquid, honestly, uh, possible. This needs to be able to dissolve into any liquid. So for example, I'm using it in coffee in the morning. It dissolves instantly. So that's the first thing. Good mixture. The second thing is, is I don't want it to taste like anything. I know like Metamucil and all those other fibers out there, they honestly just taste really bad. Um, I've tried them myself. They just don't have a good taste. So that's the second goal here is that this fiber is not gonna taste like anything, unflavored completely. And then the last thing is gonna be, you know, viscosity. I really don't want it to change the the actual chemical properties of the liquid that it dissolves in. Agglomeration as well. Look at that pour. Okay. Agglomeration. So basically, I just want it to interact nicely with the water. Um, so let's see how this goes. This is a completely, like, this is a trial run here. I haven't tried these fibers out together yet, but let's see how it goes. So far, I've noticed that it needs a milk frother. Um, spoon sometimes, just, the spoon doesn't really work as well. Sorry about that loud noise but the spoon doesn't work as well sometimes, but you can see that maybe this one isn't the best because we got some clumping in the bottom. Um, that should be fine though. It, it will end up dissolving, but this formulation might not be well, this or the specific ratio of these fibers might not be the greatest. I do like how the water is pretty clear though. Like if you can see that it's very clear, it dissolves nicely. Other than that little bit of clumping, let's see how it tastes though. Okay, so this is the thing. It tastes really well. I think I can deal with that. Okay, you can see that it's really just starting to dissolve there. There's not really much at the bottom. Um, I can work with that, but it doesn't taste like anything. And honestly, this one probably, trying this in hot water might be good too because it's harder to dissolve things in cold water, but not bad. Uh, I would say, you know, that 